Hi kids, I've really been looking forward to our time together this week. It, it's great to have friends to, to really learn with. Hello, Pastor Monty. Well, hello, Al. Uh, what's going on here? You're, you're normally pretty excited and actually kind of bouncy. What's taking place today? Look, Pastor Monty, I, I'm not sick. I am just too mature for those things. I am practically an adult. Can't you tell by this necktie I have on? I made it myself. It really is a, a nice necktie, I'll have to admit, but I don't really understand what's going on here. Well, I have no time to explain. I have to revolutionize outside the box, synergize by best practices and a holistic approach, and use buzzwords I don't understand. And by the way, do you have your phone with you, Pastor Monty? Oh, I do. It's in my pocket. Do you need it? Uh, yes, I do. I need you to Google the stock market for me. I need you to check on my 401k. Al, do you even know what a 401k is? Well, no, but it doesn't matter. Um, suddenly, I feel like I have an opinion on the capital gains tax. Yes, I think I'm getting the hang of this. Al, what are you talking about? Look, now to finish this off all this hard work this morning, I need to drink my yummy coffee. Pastor Monty, could you get my cup for me? Oh, sure, sure. Thank you. Here? That's it. Okay, one, you ready? Yes, one big sip. Okay. <laughs> oh, Pastor Monty, that's terrible. I can't do it. I've tried and tried and tried. I failed. What am I going to do now? Are you ready to let me in on what's going on here? Uh, couldn't you figure it out, Pastor Monty? I'm trying to be an adult. I mean the tie, the taxes, stocks, coffee. I thought it was a dead giveaway. Oh, man. <sighs> I, I was starting to kind of wonder, but why are you so worried about needing to act like an adult, Al? Because I'm tired of what people say about me, Pastor Monty. I'm sick of it. Now, what what are people saying? L let me know. They say that I can't do anything. I'm just a kid, and I can't help with anything important or fun. Well, mm. that, that can be rough, Al. I, it I is. Don't. They look down on me, Pastor Morning, just because I am young, and that's not right. Mm. No, you're, you're, you're right, Al. Yep. As a matter of fact, there's someone in the Bible, really, who had the same problem that really? you're having. Really? Who was it? Well, his name was was Timothy. Timothy? Like Timmy? Yes. Oh, okay, but Timothy is But, but Timothy. We'll yeah, use his, full, okay. we'll pull his okay, full okay. name. Yeah, Timothy. Now, do you remember Paul, the Apostle Paul we talked about? I do, I do. I remember Paul. Right. Well, Paul wrote 13 letters that we have in our Bible, in the yeah. New Testament. Really? Right. And he wrote two of those letters uh -huh. to Timothy. Oh, is that First and Second Timothy? That is First and Second Timothy. Oh, and those were to the same people. They were the same I person. He, I thought he had two friends with the name Timothy. So no. he named one, one Timothy and one two Timothy. Oh, well... Good thought, but no, just one Timothy. Oh, okay, wonderful, wonderful. And, and Timothy was really young, actually. Really? And Paul wrote in that letter, in that first letter, yeah. he wrote, he said, Now, don't let anyone look down on you because you are young. That, that's good advice. But he said, set an example for all the believers oh. in your speech, in your life, mm -hmm. in your faith, and in your purity. Wow. So... Even though people may really think you're, or treat you like you're too young, yeah. just like Timothy, you can be an example to others. Wow. Even adults, Al, of how to talk to people right, how to show kindness, yeah. obeying God, yeah. doing the right thing, even when maybe no one else is. Wow. So, you know what? Then they will want to do mm -hmm. and even say, the same things that you're doing, no matter how young you are or how old they are. So, so you're telling me it doesn't matter what age I am, as long as I try to set a good example and do what God called me to do, I can influence other people? That's exactly what I'm saying. Now. Wow, that's a relief, because I really didn't want to have to wear this tie and drink coffee all the time. Well, I understand. You know, just because you're an adult, it also didn't mean you don't have to drink coffee or wear a tie all the time either. I don't? No. Wow, now I'm excited about growing up, Pastor Monty. I was so worried. No tie, no coffee, and no taxes for Al. Yay! Well, that's not exactly true. You're, you're still going to have to pay taxes. What? Ta taxes are real? I thought they were just stories that adults told kids to scare them. <laughs> no, no, they, they're real, but it's, it's not going to be that bad, okay? <laughs> we'll talk about that later, oh, okay? Oh, no, this is horrible. I've got to run and warn the others. Guys, don't grow up. Taxes are real. Taxes are real. <laughs> hey, kids, it can feel like you can't do much for God because you're young. 
But that's not true. In a matter of fact, just like Timothy, you can be an example to your friends, your family, your neighbors, well, everyone. Can you be an example to everyone, even adults, of saying the right things, the kind things, even when you're mad? Obeying God, treating others with kindness, telling others about Jesus. Basically doing the right thing, maybe if when no one else is. You're not too young to be an example of someone who loves God. Try it this week, and we'll see you next time.